The southwestern region of the landlocked country is inhabitable. Residents fleeing for safety as Kasese slowly transforms into a ghost town. The Friday altercation between Royal Guards of Ruenzururu and members of the Uganda People Defense Forces has seen the deaths of more than 60 people so far. The exchange led to the launch of a high-voltage operation that has seen suspects stripped and bungled into police lorries. Mostly with the NRM Wukadas. Even we are uh, the targets. We understand after the police, then the NRM Wukadas will be attacked next. The way they think, they think that maybe we can uh, maybe overpower them. When even we are not thinking of that. But the government forces insist the operation is necessary. Uh, we, we are talking with the leadership in Kasese, uh, both the cultural leadership and also the political leadership. Oh. Because we, we, we would rather have this without using force. It is in this line of exchange that Kenyan-based Ugandan journalist Joy Doreen Bira found herself in trouble. She was picked from her home Sunday evening and locked at the Kasese police station alongside four others, including her fiancé. Although she secured her release nearly 24 hours after being taken into custody, Bira and her four compatriots have been charged with abetting terrorism. The case comes up on the 8th of December. Her employer, the Standard Group, is calling on authorities in Uganda to withdraw charges against Bira and terminate the case on grounds that Bira, who was on a private visit to the area, was only doing what a professional journalist would do to relay information to the public. King Mumbere, who is currently under interrogation by a special investigation unit, is awaiting a summon by President Yoweri Museveni. Meanwhile, President Museveni left Kampala for South Africa for a two-day visit. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.